We're of course keeping an eye on it and awaiting that 11 a.m. announcement that is set to come in possibly from the CBI right now. We're going to move on to a different story. This one coming in from down south. YSRTP chief YS Sharmila has been arrested by the Telangana police. This is at the Mehbubabad district. Uh, she's been taken into preventive custody. The arrest took place after clashes took place between YSRTP and BRS. BRS is the Bharatiya Rashtra Samiti, earlier called the Telangana Rashtra Samiti. They are the party in power in Telangana. Clashes between them and YSRTP, which is YS Sharmila's party, took place as police denied permission to her to carry out her padyatra. Uh, Sharmila has taken to was taken to Hyderabad by police. She's been booked for allegedly making inappropriate comments against an MLA from the BRS. A lot of context required here. Let's go over to my colleague Swastika for more. Swastika, could you walk us through the details in, that are necessary to understand the story? Then could you bring us to this most recent update that Sharmila has been arrested? Well, first things first, uh, Sharmila has been brought back to Hyderabad. Remember, she was detained at Mehbubabad uh, district. And this is where she was, in fact, supposed to proceed with her Padhyatra. Uh, with a target of finishing over 4,000 kilometers. But what transpired in the last couple of hours is that at around 6 a.m., as per Sharmila's uh, camp, there was an attack, an alleged mob attack from the BRC side. The local MLA there uh, tried to disrupt her uh, Patriyatra. And uh, subsequently, there were clashes between the two camps. And the police officials, according to Sharmila, stood as new spectators. What they did in turn was that they ground her and then they subsequently detained her saying that she was creating a law and order situation there under which she has also been booked by the police. Now a case has also been filed against her. And then a couple of hours ago at around, uh, let's say, uh, 8.30 or 9 is what we are given to understand. Sharmila was uh, brought back to Hyderabad and, uh, and, and then now she's going to hold a press conference at 12.00. Okay. And uh, Swastika, if I could ask, if you could just walk our audiences through the grander context here. Tell us more about uh, why Sharmila has been undertaking this Padhyatra in the first place. There have been quite a few controversies over the last few days as she's undertaken it. Could you walk us through that? Well, uh, Toya, Sharmila has been on the road for uh, nearly over 400... And, sorry, I beg your pardon. She has been uh, covering more than... Uh, 4,000 kilometers now. In fact, her Padiyata was supposed to conclude on the 5th of March uh, in Paler, the very area where she wants to contest uh, uh, in the elections that are going to happen in the next uh, few months. And in fact, uh, in the span of around 17 months, Shark Sharmila has sort of traveled the length and breadth of Telangana, to say the least, to cover covering around 83 assembly constituencies over 255 days. 65 municipalities, over 2,000 villages, and five municipal corporations. And all of this in a bid to establish herself as a formidable political leader in the state of Telangana. She's a new entrant, in fact. Uh, and what she has been doing in the last couple of months, over a, over last one year, in fact, is to establish herself, uh, her party, YSRTP. And she has decided to conduct all the Padhyatra. Padhyatra in southern states, in fact, <clears throat> have been a road to success. In fact, Sharmila's father, late YSR, former chief minister of Undivided Andhra Pradesh, also did a Padhyatra and then stormed to power. Her own brother, Jagan Mohan Reddy, also followed the same module and came to power in the state of Andhra Pradesh uh, in 2019. And Sharmila also, with that same hope, has been targeting the KCR government, accusing them of corruption, accusing them of letting down the people of Telangana. Now, the BRS side claims that Sharmila is an arrow from Modi government's bow. In bow, in fact, uh, Modi government has been the one who's brought Sharmila here to use her as a vote cutter, not as much uh, with the target of uh, sabotaging their political prospects, but in a bid to completely wipe out the Congress uh, from the state of Telangana and Sharmila, in fact, her recent uh, phone call uh, with Prime Minister Modi, remember, a uh, couple last year when uh, the violence took place, when there was a high drama in Telangana, in Hyderabad specifically, that also uh, was something that the BRS utilized to say that Sharmila 
has been brought in by the Modi government here. So politically, she is new to the landscape of Telangana. But yes, she has been gaining traction on the ground through her Padhyatra. Okay. Thank you so much.